<laughs> All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube for our next deck, last deck of the night for us here tonight. Uh, calling this one Judith Priest um, because we are a deck kind of built around those two Ravnica of Ravnica Allegiance standouts. We have Judith, the Scourge Diva, and we have Priest of Forgotten Gods. In particular, Priest of Forgotten Gods is, uh, you know, maybe the most powerful card in our deck. Um, it's certainly what we have uh, built around those. Um, but we have just a, a good amount of one, two, and three mana cards with a couple Gruesome Menageries to be able to help get them back. I used to play four Gruesome Menageries in this list. Um, as you'll, you'll uh, probably know, I've played this deck a good amount. Um, and I used to have four Gruesome Menageries. Then the last time I, we took out two Menageries for two Spawn of Mayhems. Uh, for some, for like you know, some uh, flying and uh, some evasion and some pressure, and then kind of playing the when we played the games out, kind of felt like Rekindling Phoenix would have been a better card than Spawn of Mayhem. Um, so we're gonna play some Rekindling Phoenixes in here. It's it's also a fine card with Priest of Forgotten Gods to be able to sacrifice and everything and have it come back. So um, yeah, we're gonna try a couple Phoenixes in there. We still have like the two in the sideboard that we had in there last time. It is possible that this deck should just be playing Angraths instead of Menageries. So that's something to kind of be um, thinking about when we play through these games. If we think that Angrath would be like a, a better top end card instead of Menagerie. Angrath works kind of well with Priest also, I suppose. Steal their thing and then sacrifice it. And yeah, we got the, we got the one coil in here just, you know, for a removal spell. Just, you know, whenever we need it. We got the one. Got some more on the sideboard. Um, but there we go. Judith Priest. Let's try it out. It's possible we should just have like four Rekindling Phoenix in the main deck maybe instead of the Menageries. Who knows? Okay, getting this Simic Adapt deck up on YouTube. Hey, Hawkeye, how are you doing? Wow, we get to play first? We're so lucky. We're so lucky. Alright, so sorry, I'm working on the YouTube channel here for just a second. Um, let's make him sack this Wild Growth Walker. Consider Tilanali Summoner or Direfully Daredevil and build like this. Um, not Summoner. Some I just I don't think Summoner is is very good. Even even um, even though it can make like some tokens, um, which is not not a card I'm too interested in. Um, however, um, Direfully could certainly be. Okay, like Dire Fleet's a pretty strong card. I could see playing a Dire Fleet Daredevil. Um, just playing the Orzhov Enforcer over the Gutter Bones because of uh, just kind of mana considerations. It just costs two instead of instead of one. And thanks 
Thanks, Wales. Yeah, we've had a, um, had a good day today so far. Finality. Hmm. I'm going to do this main phase. Um, so, you know, we don't get like the, the war boss token to sacrifice. But I want to do this main phase to see if we draw like a, a Judith or something like that. So they block Midnight Reaper, they take two, four, five, six, go down to two. Got to dodge finality. Hey, CEO. All right, dodge finality. So what am I sideboarding in this matchup? Hmm. This is a tough matchup for us to sideboard in, honestly. Because... I can see Playcrafter, Lava Coil, Rekindling Phoenix, and Bedevil, and Angrath. I can see all of those cards. You know, like they're all situational. Um, they can all be, you know, pretty decent. Um, we didn't see any blue mana from our opponent. They look to be kind of like an old school Golgari deck with these Ravenous Chupacabras and um, Carnage Tyrants. Yeah, I like just red black more than Mardu. I I don't like the mana on Mardu. I don't think it's worth it. Um, and I, I don't think like the cards that you play with here, Precinct 1, are, are better necessarily either. Yeah, Lava Coils for the Walkers, Playcrafter, both all cards that are pretty decent. Let's get... Let's play a Playcrafter. Instigator is only going to be good if we have Priest in play, basically. I'm going to play a second coil and a third phoenix and the plague crafter. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, gutter bones cost one mana, squee costs um, three mana. Costing one mana is big. It's it is really nice to have cards that cost one mana. I'm not too worried about Vivian in a, in a deck like this. I don't think I need to play Bedevil for Vivian. I think my opponent probably has cast down. Yeah, they're sitting there with their cast down. Could be trophy also, but probably cast down. I feel like if I would have played priest there, would have just would have died immediately.
And since I think it's cast down, I'm playing the Judith first. Called it. So that's why I played Judith instead of any of these other cards because of cast down. Priest is like our best card here. I'm going with Reaper because if they have another cast down, I'd rather Reaper die to so I draw a card. Because um, I need to hit some more land drops and everything. So if they would have double blocked Midnight Reaper, I could have killed both of their creatures by just playing my other Judith. That's a problem for me. That's the card I just can't beat. That's a card I can't beat. Cry of the Carnarium. My deck's just really bad against that card. Yeah, Hawkeye, that was mean. Um... I can trim on war bosses. Let's do that. Let's just take out war boss, actually. Let's get other Phoenix and Grath. Maybe two Angraths. And a, another coil. War bosses, not probably not too necessary. Draw lands. Hopefully we can hit land drops, get up to the Zangraf. Alright, first land down. What does crown mean? I'm not I'm not sure what you're what you're saying. What does crown mean? Oh, the crown next to your name. Oh, that, that's just showing that you have Twitch Prime. Yeah. So I wanted my opponent to block... I wanted them to block with their Jade Light last turn so we could have killed it. 
drawn a couple of cards. It's kind of an aggressive attack. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Dun, 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 dun. So if they just contempt again, um, they'll take lethal from the Judith. If they don't contempt, I think they're... No, they're not taking lethal here. Close. That's lethal. No fire, no steel. G to the G. All right, got game one. match one. Got match number one. Angrath was a lot better than, than Legion Warboss would have been. And so... Alright, if our opponent has Cry of the Carnarium, we lose. If they don't have Cry of the Carnarium, we win. Yeah, they didn't draw Cry of the Carnarium. I think that that's kind of the the moral of the story that, we, that we've uh, kind of found out so far. Yeah, you're right. It would have been lethal even without the Firebrand. Because the Angrath puts him down to 3. Um, they block the 3-2. The Judith trigger deals him 1 to put him to 2. And then the other, the 2 power creature uh, deals the other 2. So, yeah. Benthic Biomancer. Looks like we're playing against some Merfolk. No, I, I don't think it's worth it to play Cannonade to try to counter a Cry of the Carnarium. I'd rather just have a Duress. In that case. Yeah, Cry would still exile them, but you'd get, like, at least you'd get, like, the Midnight Reaper triggers and stuff first. That card's a little annoying. The deep root waters. Doesn't seem like our opponent has green mana though. Yeah, you still get like the Reaper triggers and Judith triggers. Yeah, this this deck does take a whole lot of rares. Takes a, a lot from the rare slot, unfortunately.
So I was basically attacking with the war boss to like make sure that we'd have another creature in play. Um, and or like we'd still have like the tokens left so that we could play the Judith there uh, post combat. All right, let's get some plague mares in here. Um, I think that's all I want are just a couple plague mares. Um, I get I guess I'm supposed to bring in coils also because like the yeah like their lords and everything. Yeah, let's get some coils in here. Uh, as far as cards to take out. I kind of like everything. I think maybe Rekindling Phoenix or Midnight Reaper. Um, but we certainly have like Priest of the Forgotten Gods and Judith, the Scourge Diva, are certainly like a combo for us here. Yeah. Is that is that the wrong deck list? Oh, I guess I didn't update the deck list command. My bad, my bad. I thought I did. I guess I forgot to do that. Got 40 seconds. I know, Hawkeye, I'm sorry. I'm typing, putting my hand right in your face. Phoenix is a good blocker and everything, though. I'm going to take out Midnight Reaper and one Phoenix. I'm going to do that. So, yeah, we could be behind. The Midnight Reaper damage could, like, be problematic for us. Like, would I rather have that, that Phoenix be a, a Midnight Reaper in hand? We would be able to, you know, activate Priest on turn 3 if it was, but we'll probably draw something. I need to do some more typing. Come here, bud. Good boy. Whoops. Gotta finish up the Simic Adapt. One. That's unlucky. Right here. Not a bad draw. Because honestly, it may be better just to firebrand this Deep Root Elite. No, I'll activate this thing. That's the that's like the only time like this scenario is the only time you'd rather have um, the. It's the only time you'd rather have like the um, the other one mana one one um, instead of Firebrand, the one that that triggers whenever it dies. I'm sure somebody in chat's saying the name of that card. Not really sure what this attack's about. Like they could have 
Say they could have like the the spell that like uh, River Herald's boon. They could have R River Herald's boon and like um, I know we already dealt damage to them with the Priest of the Forgotten Gods, but we'll still just take this gutter bones. Full like theme. There you go. All right, I'm back. Or. One more thing, get this thumbnail going. Simic Adapt. So no three drops in the graveyard. We do have we have a one and a two right now if we want to menagerie them. I can just play Gutter Bones first. Well, let's just go ahead and Menagerie. Well, hmm. Sack these, get some black mana. And then I can play Gutter Bones. Uh, no red mana. Kind of sack this other priest. No. I guess it's Firebrand. We'll get more black mana. We'll just be able to uh, re -put, put the gutter bones back in our hand and replay it. Yeah, Priest of the Forgotten Gods is awesome. And they're down to six, because remember, they're losing two life every t every time of these. Now I can play War Boss and sack it and get it back with Menagerie. Yeah, opponent gonna die. that attack on that's dangerous all right so let's go war boss make um sack war boss and gutter bones this deck is gas, isn't it? Priest of the Forgotten Gods is just a sweet card. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, welcome everybody on Dark Phoenix's stream there. Alright, so War Boss, Instigator, and. Suppose Firebrand. This Firebrand can kill this 1-1. One, one. Uh, 
Want to leave him with nothing. That would kill the 1-1. One, one. We would sack the instigator and the token. Uh, put him down to 2. Make them sack Kumena. Um, and then kill him with a 3-3. Three, three. All right. Quick 2-0 for Judith Priest. <laughs> you hate Priest, dude? Priest is so good. Ooh, love me some Priest. All right, where's our third land? I guess I guess priest remembers the gods, right? But then like the the gods are forgotten by other people. The quote on the card is the Orzov are not the only religious tradition on Ravnica, nor the oldest. If you right-click the card, you get to see the the, or, the text there like that. Spoiler for War of the Spark. We're gonna go ahead and Reaper again. Stop these absorbs. Oh, it's at 22 life? So much life. They only have two cards left. Bad news, now they have to ferry. We need oh, certainly the card I did not want them now. to have with, of course. Oh, this is miserable. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. Hold that thought. Uh, Iron Man, I'm not. A, I don't write. Well, that didn't pan out. Not writing anymore. All right, that's three Hurry. absorbs. Don't kill my creatures. Don't make another move. We're slowly getting this to ferry out of here. Slowly but surely. You know what? I'm not done yet. No, my menagerie. No. Yeah, I like streaming a whole lot more. I've never been a an English person. I've never really liked writing. Always been much more math than, than English as far as that kind of stuff's considered. Um I like Sultai against Esper myself, um, but it's pretty close. This is hardly my worst defeat. G 
Jojo Joestar with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for that subscription there. All right, time to start doing some damage to them. Found all our lands, got the land pocket. That's probably game. As you can tell, I was not playing around that, and I don't regret not playing around that. Um, where we are, like this this kind of matchup, we have to end the game pretty quickly, because yeah, they have a lot of ways to draw out of that. Plus, Settles does not played super commonly. So, don't regret that um, attack at all. No time. Sorry, I'm late. All right, Fairy can take the take it from here. I feel like we hurt our opponent, hit our opponent so many times, and they're still at seventeen. Hey, Colonel Falk getting the tier two sub in. That gets some hype in the channel. Thank you so much, Colonel Falk. Really do appreciate that tier two sub. Let's take out the Lava Coil, take out these Priests. Play Crafter is good, Phoenix is good, Angrath's good. I don't really mind Bedevil too much. Curve's just really high now. Hmm. I play a couple firebrands, keep that curve down a little bit. Judas like Judas the kind of card that's not very good on its own. Um Hey Bofa. Oh, thanks for the kind words there, Jojo Joestar. And Colonel Fault as well. Yeah, that's the notification sound from Final Fantasy VII. That's the the victory sound from Final Fantasy VII. Now this is a curve right here. Um, but yeah, while Judith is an awesome card in this matchup, you know, if they if they're killing my other creatures, we're just playing a three mana two two. Um, and so that's why I sideboarded a couple out. If you want the, the deck list for Simic Adapt, you can find it. Actually, I think I just still just have it up here on my channel. I do. Actually, here, I can just send it to you here. That should be the deck list for Simic Adapt. Please do not have Cry of the Carnarium. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, that's better. Uh, do you think the Final Fantasy VII Remake will be good? Um, is the question here. Um, 
Yeah, honestly, not sure. We've kind of... Probably will for how like long it's taking. I would say probably for, for this amount of time. Does Square have a lot riding on it? So I'm not actually like real familiar of like what this uh, remake is going to be like. Um, Is it just like the same character, same kind of storyline, but just like a little bit of a different game? Sell the wreckage is a good card. Oh, they do have a lot riding on it. Okay. Yeah, Final Fantasy seven through ten were seven through ten were my wheelhouse. I I honestly did uh, pretty much stop paying attention to them after that. I heard you had some dead things that needed to stay dead. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Hmm. Not looking good. It is not looking good for us. Oh yeah, that 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 Advent Children movie was really bad. Bye -bye. Fire, no steel. Hmm. So I'm just going to sit back and have this Angrath win. Trust me. Let's skip to the good part. I have to send those away. Yeah, now they're attacking the gutter bones. The smell. Ew. Come on, deck. We don't need another land at this point. Our 10th land. 20 cards. 
No I'm fire. Playing, what, 24? No steel. No, yeah, Death Touch does not work on Planeswalkers, unfortunately. <laughs> not on my watch. They, of course, have Teferi that gets to Tuck um, and Grath whenever they are um, getting lower on life. Yeah, I think we were playing a song from Street Fighter, like our for our final boss music. It's like Guile, Guile song, Gilly song. I don't know the pronunciation. No fire, no steel. And number eleven. Hey, nine baller. Let's skip to the good part. Welcome. How <laughs> how do you how do you pronounce that? You know, G U I L E. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But anyway, thank you so much, Nineballer, for that resub there for the third month. Or sub number 18 on the day. Guile? Okay, it is Guile. Isn't that what I said the first time? Guile? I think that's what I said the first time. Sweet. Okay, so now I know how to pronounce that Guile's theme. You're not welcome here anymore. No fire, no steel. I feel like if I play anything, it's going to get absorbed and they're just going to gain three life. Yeah, maybe not. Still. They have to minus their Teferi to get rid of my Angrath. No, I need to protect my... I need to be able to protect my Angrath. I don't want to attack them, and they could just take it and go to two if I would have just attacked. So right now, about the only way I win is if my opponent just forgets that Angrath is going to ultimate. You need Dang, to slow they didn't down. forget. What? Want something banished? No. Funny, that's what I do. Now this game's over. There's land number 12. Or 13, I mean. Alright, so 2 and 1. So, sell the wreckage and cry the carnarium. Pretty good cards against me. Yeah, it's such a beating. Blue was a mistake. Just as a color. Um, yeah, rotation will have, rotation's going to be nice, getting um, all these explore creatures that we're tired of, getting those out of here, 
and Teferi in search for his Kanta. And Nexus of Fate. Hmm, mono black, huh? Cabal Stronghold? Mono black control. Tilt. Why does everybody have Cry of the Garnarium? You're gonna miss Legion's landing the most? That's a good question. What what card are y'all gonna miss the most that they'll rotate out? Um, what am I gonna miss the most? Wizard's Lightning? Oh yeah, yeah, that was Dominari. That's going. Angrath? Yeah. Actually, it may be Angrath. Angrath may be the one that I've missed the most, honestly. Direfully Daredevil is a great card to play with. That's a that's a great one. Yeah, Vivian is, is the card that I've probably played the most. I really like a Johnny Mentor of Heroes as well. Dang it, it's, it's Adversary of Tyrants. Sorry, a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. I really like that card. I'm going to miss that card. Yeah, all those cards all those cards that we mentioned, those are all rotating. Angrath, Vivian, those are all rotating in, in the fall. In, like, late September. Cards that rotate are just not legal to play in standard anymore. Um, let's get Phoenix, Angrath. I forgot we have a bunch of duresses. We never saw those before. All right, what cards are the worst against Cry of the Carnarium? Can destroy an artifact. That's cool. Um, I want to trim down these three mana slots. I'm not sure if I want to take out, you know, Reaper, War Boss, Judith. I'm not sure which ones I want to be taking out. Maybe I'll just take out the, these two mana cards that are just kind of crappy. I'll just take out the Menageries and take out two Orzhov Enforcers. Or those enforcers just don't do anything. You think Priest is good? Pretty sure they'll just be able to kill Priest before they play like a Niv Mizzet or whatever. Like the last game. Just a one mana one two. Deck, why are you doing this? Ugh, we got the mold of five. I don't know, maybe we just draw a whole lot of lands in a row. Oh, those are good calls, Gatsby. Those those are the cards I'm going to miss the most. You're right. Urza's Ruinous Blast and Kamal's Juridic Vow. Those are certainly the cards I'm going to miss the most.
Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Enforcer's been okay. Um, I guess that's just kind of how it's been. It's been okay. It's the hard thing. You want, you do want a card that applies pressure better. Um, but with with that being said, you also want, um, you also want kind of a, a value card that you don't mind sacrificing. Also, so it's it's hard to have both. Um, but it's been fine. It hasn't been spectacular or anything. Our deck is uh, pretty defensive in nature um, against like other aggro decks, and so I really like it there. Oh, that's terrible news for us. Was Llanowar Elf reprinted, or is that is that rotating out? That was just Dominaria and M19, right? So Llanowar Elf is rotating out? Dang, they found the Lantern. We have found more lands. Yeah, it's looking like a 2-2. We were on a mold of five, kept a one lander. We didn't hit a second land drop, but since then we have drawn. Yeah, we've drawn nothing but land since then, right? Because we we didn't play a land on turn two. We didn't have a land. So now we have all these lands. I kind of needed Angrath here to steal this crisis. Yeah, to find the Naya Legends list, uh, my Stream Decker page. Put the link there in the chat. Streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. That's where you can find all of my decks. Um, right there. Thirty life? That's a lot of life. This is a fair matchup. <laughs> Block. Man, they even discarded Cry of the Carnarium. So rude. Alright, so 2-2. Two, two. So we struggled against the control decks with lots of sweepers. Those are both both of our losses, like two control decks with lots of sweepers. Um, Rekindling Phoenix was good. I liked Rekindling Phoenix quite a bit. Angrath in the sideboard was was pretty good too. Um, I'm not sure if we need Gruesome Menagerie. I think next time I try this, I, I want like no Menagerie and just like more Phoenixes. I think Phoenix is just kind of good against everything. And then maybe more Angrafts in the sideboard. Like, what if we just have a whole lot of those? A bunch of Angrafts and Phoenixes against the control decks. Just a bunch of them. It's probably better than Menagerie. Yeah, I mean... We had eight total Phoenixes. You know, we had two Phoenix main, two boards. That's four copies, plus uh, two Menagerie, plus two Angrath. Oh, Priest is absolutely good as a four of. It is incredible. We just played against two matchups where it wasn't good, those those last two. But the first two, it did so much work for us. It's This is like the Priest deck. Like, this is absolutely a four of. It's just not good against control. Um... Yeah, I think we're gonna try that. I think I think Phoenix and Angrath are good at the top end. So there we go. Alright, that's some Judith Priest.
So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, um, well, thanks for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.